Hi, I'm Dougie Rankin from Truck and Driver magazine. I've just been out driving the 460 turbo compound that I save. I find it really impressive in the levels of torque that's available at low revs thanks to the turbo compounded technology. We're going up very steep hills there and it's just digging in and holding on for dear life at like 12, 1300 RPM. It doesn't have to work particularly hard to get a lot of performance. Um, if you weren't told it was a 460, it would easily pass for like a 540. Um, very impressive bit of kit. And of course, the good thing about these trucks as well is the high levels of fuel economy that you get from them on a long run. So, aye, definitely worth uh, something uh, investigating if you do a lot of high miles with your trucks. Um, we run a number of uh, FH540s, um, but I understand this 460 is uh, the most fuel efficient, so I was very interested to give it a go. Very good, um, great with the turbo compound engine, um, obviously we won several now, um, obviously keen on the new shape with uh, a further 3% saving, which uh, ours are achieving high 10s into mid 11s, so uh, yeah, pushing forward and looking forward to the new, the new shape Volvo. Uh, very nice, uh, smooth, quiet, comfortable uh, and plenty of torque. Yeah, the FH uh, turbo compound, uh, very good, low lugging power, uh, diesel wise a lot better than what the uh, normal engines are, it, uh, it goes well, you think it's got a lot of bottom end grunt, and kicks in and keeps going, it's uh, very surprising at times. Really enjoyed driving this truck, um, incredible how well it pulls, it's a lot more powerful than the badge says on the side. And I, Obviously with the extra torque and digging in really well, really hang on there. And uh, obviously with a good fuel consumption, it's what we're getting with ours. Um, maybe next time we take a 460 uh, I save and not a 500.